Adios, and muchas gracias. <laughs> Señoras y señores, un aplauso para las mujeres del Ecuador. Pause for applause. Deep breath. It is my great honor. That sounds intriguing. Oh, Susie's asked me to host the auction tomorrow. All right. It's a very prestigious role. Yeah, but nobody's going to understand what you're talking about. I'm sure they can piece it together. In fact, you could chip in after the Spanish bit to the women of Ecuador. Kick off the applause. No, I don't even know if I'm going to be there. Huh. I want to go and find her. No, you're not missing school before your exams. She's probably just gone for a walk or something. A walk? Cathy. Right, yeah. I'll message you when she's been in touch, yeah? Have a good day, son. I know. Cathy's not in her room. And Heath's right, she's not exactly known for early morning treks across the dales. So when did you last see her? Uh, before I went to bed about nine o'clock. She was watching telly. I mean, she said she was a bit tired, but she seemed OK. Look, so she could have been gone all night. Well, I don't know. Look, I, I, I'll go and check by the pavilion and then I'll have a drive around. Can you call her friends? Yeah, well, maybe she's gone to the hospital. She was desperate to see Marshall. Well, if she has, she's had a wasted trip. Hey, Marshall, love. Um, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. Cathy hasn't uh, been in to see you or anything this morning, has she? Is she all right? Well, we don't know where she is. And she hasn't messaged or texted. No? Sorry, how long has she been gone? Well, we don't know that either. Oh, look, you go in. It'll be nothing to worry about. Well, I hope she's OK. <laughs> uh, you, let us know, though, won't you? And, uh, I'm sorry about yesterday. You know, I was scared, and, but I shouldn't have taken it out on you. It's fine. I've been all over. Nobody's seen her. She's not picking her phone up. None of her friends know where she is either. And some of her stuff's gone from her room. Well, like what? Well, overnight bag things, you know, charger, toiletries, pyjamas. Where could she have gone? Well, maybe she's got a friend that we don't know about. I like who? I don't know. That's the point. I'll, I'll phone the school. I'll speak to a form teacher. Maybe she'll have an idea. Yeah, well, we'll try not to sound too panicky. Our daughter's missing. How am I supposed to sound? Yeah, well, they'll probably have to speak to Heath, and we don't want him worrying any more than he already is. So the calmer, the better. Look, I'm going to have another look round the village. Let me know what the school says. OK. Thanks for helping me look, even if it was completely hopeless. You've got to keep the faith, Brenda. Positive thoughts equals positive outcomes. To Bob. No new leads at school. <sighs> Another lap round the village? I think I'll stay here in case she comes back. Right, you have a break and recharge. I'll get back out there. Remember, positive thoughts. Police, please. No. Done. I'm sorry. False alarm. Cathy. I'm sorry. Oh, no need, my darling. No need. I needed some time alone. I thought it'd help. I'm guessing it didn't. Where did you go? I got the bus into Leeds. Only it was dead busy and noisy. I didn't know what to do. I wandered for hours. Then I sat in the bus station. Trying to decide. I don't even know. I ended up back here. It's okay, love. I've got you. When it's bad, I just want to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> 